In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a very interesting problem to find all numbers disappeared in an array. So let's go through the problem statement. Given an array of unsorted integers, where array elements are in the range from 1 to n. So if the array size is 5, then all the elements in this array are in the range from 1 to 5. So if the size is 5, then all the elements are in the range from 1 to 5. If the size is 8, then all the elements are in the range from 1 to n. So you can see uh, this statement and n is the size of array. So in this array, some element appear twice, other appear once. We have to write a code to find all the elements of 1 to n, n is inclusive that do not appear in this array. So let's see the example. So uh, in in first example you can see the size of this array is 8 so all the element in this array are in the range from 1 to 8 and the elements which are missing from this range is 5 and 6 so you can see 1 is appear here 2 is appear in this array twice 3 is appear in this array twice 4 is appeared 5 is not in this array similarly 6 is also not in this array then 7 then 8 so these two elements are missing uh, from this array so in in the second example the size of array is 5 so all the element are in the range from 1 to 5 and if you see this array uh, the element which are missing from this array is 1 rest 2 is present 3 is present 4 is present 5 is present so only one element is missing from this array which is 1 so we have some constant here so we have to solve this problem without using extra space and in o and time complexity and also there is some assumption so the space we use to return list so return this output does not count as extra space so uh, so this is the problem statement and let's try to solve this problem in minimum time complexity in an efficient way uh, let's see how we can solve this problem so we don't have to use the extra space but uh, let's suppose uh, the extra space is allowed then how we can solve this problem let's first we focus on that then we optimize the space part. So uh, this is the input array and we have to find the missing number from this uh, from this array. So, uh, so we know uh, the size of array, so it's five and we know all the array element should be in the range from one to five. So using this property, what we can do? So we can use the set and the property of set is it only contains the unique element and the lookup time in set is o and o1 so what we do is we put all the array element in a set so in set the element is like this two three and five four so set only contain unique element so now suppose we keep all the element in a set so you can see i have declared set which contain uh, integer and i have traversed the input array and put them in a set so now what's the next step we have put all the input array element in a set and set only contains the unique element so uh, the duplicate element is removed i mean it can't be added in a set then we know the array element should be in the range from one to five so if we run a loop from one to size of array and if we check whether the element whether the value of i is present in an uh, in a set so if it's not present in a set then we can add them in a result part add as we have to find the missing number and if it's uh, present then we can move to to the next element to the next element so so this is the code for this so we have traverse an array from one to uh, so we have run a loop from one to length of length of this array so we have the array 
of size let's say n so we traverse from 1 to n so in this case it is 1 to 5 and we have already added uh, the input element in a set now we are checking whether the set contains one so first time it, it check whether the set contains one so in this set uh, one is not present so we added them in a result list so one is added here and the lookup time in set is o1 so that's why we use the set data structure here and so now we move to next uh, next here uh, element which is 2 here so we check whether 2 is present in a set so yes it is present so we don't go in this condition then uh, next is 3 whether 3 is present in a set yes so again this condition is skipped similarly for 4 similarly for 5 and after when we came out of this loop we return the result part so we return 1 here so in this case the time complexity is o n and also the space complexity is also o n so this i mean this method is valid if the extra space is allowed now let's see how we can solve this problem without using extra space let's see how we can solve this problem without using extra space so we know in this array the number are in the range from 1 to n so in this input array the number are in the range from 1 to 5 and also we know the array index start from 0 and it goes to n minus 1 so you can see it start from 0 1 2 3 and 4 so in this case n minus 1 the value of n minus 1 is 4 so the array index goes from 0 to n minus 1 so by using these two property here we are going to use a very clever technique so what we do is we traverse an input array so we traverse this array we pick each number and subtract one from it so we traverse an input uh, uh, array we pick each number and subtract one from it then we goes to that index and put a negative number here so let's first do this operation then uh, you get the clear idea why we are doing it so let's pick the first numbers so the first number is 2 and if we uh, do minus 1 from this number then the value is 1 so let's go to, uh, and the value present i mean at this index is greater than 0 so it is greater than 0 so let's put negative sign in front of this number i mean let's put minus 3 here then the next number is 3 so let's calculate uh, the index which is 2 let's go to that index and put the negative uh, number here so in this case it is minus 3 now the next number is 3 and let's calculate the index which is 2 so the number present at this index is greater than 0 so no it is already a negative number so we have to to put this condition so that it won't make it positive now let's move to next number and in this case uh, we have to go at this index and put the negative number here so you know uh, so now uh, you understand why we subtract minus 1 from this number so the number are in the range from 1 to 5 if we don't do minus 1 from the number then in this case we get uh, we get the array out of bound exception so now the next number is four let's go to this index and put negative five here so now we traverse the input array we put uh, we put the following operation and now we came out of this loop so if you see this array all the element in this array is negative except the value present at this index now if one is present in this array so the value present at this index is also negative as the index uh, the first we calculate the index and in this case it's zero and th then we goes to that index and put the negative of this number but one is not present here so it is positive so the 
the number which is present at zero so except the number present at zeroth index all other elements are negative as all other element are present in this array now what we do is we traverse our input array and we check if any number is greater than zero if it is greater than zero then i plus one is the actual number which is missing from this array so this is why we put the negative number here and we know uh, so array indexes start from zero so if we do plus one to it we know the actual number as we are looking a number in the range from one to n so we get the one here and we return the result which is one so the time complexity of this approach is o n and its space complexity is o one so uh, we already take the assumption that we don't count this as a space as we have declared this list just to return the output and here is the main method in which i declared an array and i am calling this method and once i get the result i am printing the result so if i run this code you can see uh, the output so uh, so this is the different one so let's uh, run this code so let's run this so you can see the output is one only one is missing from this array so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video